Assalamu alaikum everyone and thank you for tuning in. I'm your host, Eliza Shah. And I'm Amir Badawi and you're watching CBTV Ramadan Special. The order in which the Quran was compiled is not by coincidence. Whenever a verse was revealed, the Holy Prophet would ask Imam Ali, peace be upon him, to write it down. Then he would show him where the verse should be placed in which surah. The whole of the Quran was compiled into a book during the time of the Prophet. Many people also memorized it. And with that, it's time to begin our episode with recitation from the Holy Quran. Rabbi 
رب السماوات والأرض وما بينهما الرحمن لا يملكون منه خطابا يوم يقوم الروح والملائكة صفا لا يتكلمون إلا من أذن إلا من أذن له الرحمن وقال صوابا ذلك اليوم الحاق فمن شاء اتخذ إلى ربه مآبا إنا أنذرناكم عذابا قريبا يوم ينظر المرء يوم ينظر المرء ما قدمت يداه ويقول الكافر يا ليتني كنت ترابا صدق الله العلي العظيم Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to story time. Today's story is about this is Ali ibn al Hussein, peace be upon him. Now, one day, a caravan of Muslims was headed towards the holy city of Mecca. As it arrived in Medina, it rested a few days and continued on towards Mecca. On their way from Medina to Mecca, a man joined the group. This man noticed one of them who had the appearance of a guided person. He was eagerly busy in service of the passengers. One man recognized him and he asked the other hajis if they knew who he was. But no one knew him. They said he joined us in Medina. But he was a pious man. We haven't asked him for help, but he is like one of us and he's helping us. Obviously you don't know him, he said, for if you did, you would never have allowed him to be of your service. Who is this person? They asked. This is Ali ibn al Hussein, Zain al Abidin, our fourth Imam. The group stood with shame and apologized to the Imam, peace be upon him. Then turning to Imam, they said, why did you treat us as such? We may have gone beyond our bounds in our ignorance and would have committed a big sin in being disrespectful to you. The Imam, peace be upon him said, I intentionally joined your group for you didn't know me. When I join a group where people know me, For the sake of the Prophet, peace be upon him, they are very kind to me. They don't allow me to be of service to them. Thus, I was eager to join a group where I would not be known so that I may have the honor of being of some service to my companions. So, let us remember to always be helpful to others, whoever we are, whatever we're doing. And let us always be respectful and let us always be respectful to the descendants of the Prophet and the Ahlul Bayt, inshallah. Thank you for watching. Join us again for another amazing story.
to stay healthy during the month of Ramadan because you have your body has to sustain the food for you to keep going during the day so you don't get hungry during the fasting because if you get too hungry you might break it and that's bad so Water enables the body to handle stress of fasting. So we don't feel weak and dehydrated. It avoids headaches tiredness, and tiredness. 60% of our body is made of water. We must drink plenty of water during Shah Ramadan so that we don't get dehydrated in, in the middle of our fast. My favourite thing to eat in Ramadan is halawa. My favourite thing is spinach. Um, before I break my fast, I like to pray because it's more thawab. And um, uh, I like to have something light for my stomach, su such as soup. Next year, we will be looking at the most famous collection of sermons, letters, tafsirs, and narrations attributed to Imam Ali, peace be upon him. Yes, you guessed right, his Nahj al Balagha. My dearest child, have I ever told you about the time when there was a man who lived long before we did? the first man to accept the faith of the Prophet, Ali, son of Talib. He was a wise man who entrusted us with his words. We mustn't ever forget about these words. Now, my child, read this sermon out loud for me, will you, dear? Yes, Grandma. Prayer. Commit yourself to prayer and be watchful over it. Pray as much as you can and seek nearness to God through it. Oh, that was lovely. That was lovely to hear, my little one. Now let's close this book and keep it in a safe place before we go to sleep. Where shall I put it? Put it on that shelf, dear. The one over here? Yes, right over there, next to the red book. Here? Aha, uh -huh, that's the one. Ramadan, ya Ramadan, Ramadan, ya Ramadan, Ramadan, ya The little yellow taxi loves to travel every day. The little yellow taxi travels far, far away. But where will the little yellow taxi travel on this day? Let's take a trip with the little yellow taxi. Hooray! The little yellow taxi wants to go to France today because he wants to visit the famous Eiffel Tower. Before we leave the house to travel, we should recite this dua. Bismillahi amantu billah. Wa tawakkaltu ala Allahi ma sha Allah. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. When the little yellow taxi was just a little little taxi, his mummy yellow taxi told him all about the wonderful Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower was built in 1889 as the entrance for the World Fair. The 
Eiffel Tower was named after the engineer who built the tower. His name was Gustav Eiffel. Although the company of Gustav Eiffel built the tower, the idea of the building came from one of the workers known as Maurice Kochlin. Maurice and Gustav had both worked on the Statue of Liberty too. Some people say that in winter the Eiffel Tower shrinks by six inches. When we arrive to a new country, we should recite this dua. اللهم إني أسألك خيرها وأعوذ بك من شرها اللهم حببنا إلى أهلها وحبب صالح أهلها إلينا The little yellow taxi has finally arrived in Paris. The Eiffel Tower is 324 meters tall. There are 1,665 steps to go up to the top of the tower. That's a lot of steps, and cars can't even get up there anyway. It's getting late now, and it's time for the little yellow taxi to head back home. But before he returns, he must remember to recite his dua for the journey back. Aibuna taibuna, insha Allah, abiduna rakiuna sajiduna li Rabbina hamidun. اللهم لك الحمد على حفظك إياي في سفري وحاضري اللهم اجعل أباتي هذه مباركة ميمونة مقرونة بتوبة نصوحة توجب لي بها السعادة يا أرحم الراحمين Now the little yellow taxi is ready to go home Goodbye little yellow taxi Hoot hoot think that people from a thousand years ago were living in the Dark Ages. But in Muslim civilization from the 7th century onward, there were amazing advances and inventions that still influence our everyday lives. In Muslim civilizations, gardens were a symbol of an earthly paradise and a perfect place to sit and think. Beginning in the 8th century, the designing and planting of gardens spread across the Muslim world from Spain to India. رمضان يا خير الشهور فيك المحبة بلا شرور فيك السنة فيك الضياء رمضان يا خير الشهور Du'a al-iftitah plays an important role in this holy month, which is why we've been looking at the meanings behind this du'a that was left to us by the Imam of our time, Imam al-Mahdi, peace be upon him. Ah, assalamu alaikum. How wonderful the world is. Mountains, rivers, forests, farmland, lakes and grassland, that all evidence Allah's bounty and grace. How blessed we are to be able to communicate with the magnificent creator who brought everything into existence and has made it possible for us to survive and benefit from all of his bright and beautiful signs. He facilitated means whereby all of us may draw benefit from the light of guidance that he sent down with the Holy Messenger and his progeny, whom he appointed exemplars and role models for humankind. 
may Allah Almighty enable us to be included under the supervision of the owner of the time, Imam Al-Mahdi, who is always with us, illuminating our way, even though we're not able to see him. Imam Al-Mahdi shares his words in the inspiring Dua Al-Iftitar that all believers read during the holy month of Ramadan. Let us listen to a part of this Dua and find out what it means. اللهم إنا نشكو إليك فقد نبينا صلواتك عليه وآله وغيبت ولينا وكثرة عدونا وقلة عددنا وشدة الفتن بنا وتظاهر الزمان علينا In this part of the dua, the words we hear say Allah, we are stressed by the departure of our Prophet. Peace and blessings be upon him and his progeny. We are also deeply stressed by the occultation of our leader, Imam Mahdi, by the large number of enemies, our own numbers being so few, about the disorder in the world and the calamities that pour down upon us. These beautiful words move my heart as a humble servant of Allah and as an avid follower of Ahlbayt. Praise be to Allah, under whose protection we all are, today and every day of our lives. AD. This was a battle during the first Muslim civil war between Imam Ali and Muawiyah on the banks of the Euphrates River, which is now Raqqa, Syria. come to the end of our episode, but not before we go to up in the clouds for today's dose of the art. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Allahumma jalni فيه محبا لأوليائك ومعديا لأعدائك مستنا بالسنة خاتم أنبيائك يا أقسم قنوب النبيين That's all we have time for today, but CBTV is back again tomorrow at the same time. If you would like to take part in our future shows and be sat here next year, then why not send us an email to cbtv at ehlulbay.tv. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you again soon. Take care for now and salam alaikum. <laughs> شعر الخير لأنك أحلى أيامي أنا أحب
بيت يا شهر الخير يا رام